life you are living today is as a result of your preparation yesterday. If you want a better life, then you have a better preparation today. So, it's a better preparation. Say it louder. Better what? Preparation. Now, when we talk about preparation, we're talking about planning. Quickly, what are the benefits of planning? What are the benefits of planning? One, planning gives you unusual speed. Planning gives you unusual speed. So much are planning gives you unusual speed. Unusual what? Speed. If you check people that are slow in life without results, they are non planners. Planning has a way of helping you to compress time. That is, planning what ought to take you one year can take you six months by planning. So much are planning. That is, planning gives you speed. Behind every man that has an unusual speed is a planner. Is who? Planner. It's just like a bag. This is a bag. You want to carry clothes to travel. If you just pack all the clothes and sack inside the bag, the bag might not take the clothes. Am I right? But when you plan the clothes by arranging them, the bag will take more clothes. That is, planning helps you to achieve things faster and better. Planning helps you to achieve things faster and what? Better. That is, you want to have speed, plan your time, plan your life. There can never be recovery or redeeming the time without planning. Planning. That is, planning gives you unusual speed. Two, planning helps you to maximize time. Planning helps you to maximize time. Somebody said time. She said louder. Time. You want to save time? Plan your time. Time not planned is time wasted. Money not planned in money is wasted. Anything you don't plan for, you are wasted. Events not planned for is event flopped. You see, listen to this. You plan with a specific goal. Now, you have discovered that you want to rediscover your financial destiny that has been hijacked. Or, you want to recover your marital destiny that has been hijacked. You sit down. You have discovered it. Don't forget I first said something about discovery. Am I right? Now, you have discovered it. That you, there is something wrong about your marital destiny. You now go back and plan that in two years' time, I ought to get married. Now, let me tell you something. Once God sees plan, it goes to work. Plan. Planning is an expression of faith. Planning is an expression of what? Faith. What is planning? Planning is putting your thought in paper. And strategizing and delegating time to your thought. Delegating time to your thought. Putting your thought in paper, but delegating specific time to your thought. I see by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. This year, before this year is over, you have a usual speed. I thought you said better, amen. As I thought you said better, amen. Somebody's are planning. That is, it helps you to maximize time. Three, planning helps you to save money and energy. Planning helps you to save money and energy. 
money helps you to save money and what? Energy. See, a man that is operating by a specific plan is a man that is guided. Without plan, you are not guided. Plan has a way of planning has a way of checkmating you and guiding you. Do you think what I said now? Now, it is wisdom to plan your day. That is, you write it on your diary. This and this are the things I will do today. This and this place are the places I will go today. This and this are the things I'm going to buy today. Now, when this, you see, you can't talk about plan without putting it on paper. You don't plan with your brain. You don't plan. You say, okay, I have a plan. It's in my head. It must be documented. It must be what? It is the documentation that we call plan. That's why you hear people say things like, show me your plan. You don't, you don't read your, you don't just verbalize your plan. You show on paper that this is my plan. This is it. Hello? Hello? Am I talking to somebody here? You, you, you show your plan. To live without plan is to live a useless life. To live without plan is to live an haphazard life. Planning is like compassing your life. Giving your life direction. Giving your life bearing. Am I talking to somebody here? And it must be documented. It must be documented. It must be documented. It must. For instance, you want to build a house. You carry paper. Okay, I want to build a house. Inside the house, how many bedroom flat? Three bedroom flat. How many kitchen? Two kitchen or one kitchen? How many bedroom? So, 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 so. What is the duration? You write it there. How much will it cost? You write it there. How will I generate the money? You write it there. Hello? That is planning. It saves you of energy and money. For instance, you went somewhere. You seize a bag that you like. But during the, in the morning when you were planning your day, there was nothing documented in your plan that you want to buy a bag. No matter how fine the bag is, you won't buy it. Why? Because it's not in your plan. And it takes discipline to stick to plan. It takes what? To stick with plan. It takes discipline. Especially ladies. Give me, give me, give me. This one is fine. No. That is why we have few great people in this part of the world. It takes discipline to stick with time, if we plan. It saves you of money. It saves you of energy. Just live your life with plan. By tomorrow morning, plan this, experiment this thing. Take a sheet of paper. Write the things you are going to do for the day in the sheet of paper. A lot of time for each one. You will have enough time to do them. You will also have enough time to pray. In your planning, you must add spiritual planning, spiritual activity to your plan. That's what makes it complete. Mental activity to your plan. Physical activity to your plan. That is every genuine plan. Planning saves you of money, saves you of energy, saves you of what? Energy. 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 To be planless is to be useless. Did you get that? To be planless is to be what? Useless. Time has come where you live your life with direction. Time has come where you live your life on purpose. And for that to happen, there must be a specific plan. Somebody has a specific plan. Shout it louder. Lastly, planning helps you to know the cost of your destiny. You can evaluate your destiny. You can. You can. Do you know how it works? See, 
the cost of your destiny is your vision is your vision you can't say that you are going to be a global businessman and you are not a planner no no that is planning helps you to evaluate your destiny no it doesn't I see somebody receiving the grace to plan. If you believe it, you say louder, amen. amen. If you believe it, you say better, amen, tonight. Amen. So much are planning. Shout it louder. Lastly, the third key to total recovery is what I have captured action. So much are action. Say it louder. You have discovered, you have planned, it's not left for you to take action. When your plan remains only on paper, you become miserable. That's why you see a lot of people carry fights everywhere without result. The result only comes at the altar of action. Now listen. The result only comes at the field of action. That's why the Bible said, faith without works is what? Dead. The work there talks about action. 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 He said, it is not the hearers that are blessed, but the doers. Does that make sense to someone here? The doers. You have planned execute it's in the execution that the plan becomes useful hello it's in the execution that the plan becomes useful when a man plans and he or she doesn't execute his plan become useless that is why you must be a man and a woman that takes action. What you have written on paper, let it not end on paper. Let it be something you can touch. Let it be something that becomes active and fleshy. I have seen people that have good writing, so they can write. They can even write for Nigeria. They have a lot of I grew up with somebody like that. Every night she will write, 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 write. In tomorrow she's still writing. It is no writing that gives result. It is acting on the writing. That is action. Our action. Let's read some scripture. James chapter 2 verse 26. Quickly as we begin to round up. James chapter 2 verse 26. We give you praise. He said, For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without what? Walk is what? Is dead also. Faith without acting. The word walk there talks about action. The word action talks about movement, talks about work. It says, The body without the spirit. Is what is dead. So those things you wrote on paper, those plans, without taking step on them, they become lifeless. There, many people have great plans in their shelf. Great plan, great one, great idea. They wrote it, they documented, they colored it. Is there, but no action. And because there is no action, results cannot be generated. Gener results is only generated at the ground of work at the ground of action action show me an active man I will show you a man that has results in some section that is if you are going to recover all that we are stolen from you you must be a man that acts we have people that can blow grammar 
They can blow grammar. They blow grammar. You should blah, 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 blah. They are in one place. A wise man said, if you cannot fly, run. If you cannot run, walk. If you cannot walk, crawl. But just make sure you are not in one spot. A man that is taking action is a man that is making progress. Do you understand what I'm saying here? See, don't be afraid of failure. See, listen to this. A man that tried and failed is far better off than the one that didn't try at all. Because if you try and you fail, you have learned a better way not to do it. But if you didn't try at all, you have no experience. You just only have paper. And paper does not put anything on the table. It's action that puts things on the table. Am I speaking to somebody here? That is, you must act. You must act. Act. Plan your discovery. Plan towards the discovery. You have discovered it. Plan around it. Act on the plan. That is where result is born. See, when this three combination is in place, recovery is sure. Recovery is sure. You go for hunting of relevant light. Discover. After you have discovered, you sit down and plan the way out of this discovery. After you have planned it, and don't forget, I say every genuine planning has to do with pen and paper. Pen and what? Pen and paper, not planning with mouth. You know there are people that can plan with their mouth. I will buy this, I will do this, and you see, I will do that one, I will do that one, I will do that one. They have planned the whole thing with their mouth. Now, they just finished planning. Ask them two days after, what did they say? They have forgotten. Planning gives you unusual speed. But, see, even though as good as you are good in planning, don't end it there. Take a shot. It is acting on your plan that gives your plan sense. Hello? Am I talking to some persons here? Acting on your plan. Acting on your plan. Let's read two more scriptures and we leave this place. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. We give you praise. First John 3 18. Quickly. First John 3 18. First John 3 18. Somebody's story is changing. If you believe it, you say louder, Amen. amen. Now, First John 3 18, let's read it. My little children, let us not love in words. I love you. I love you in words. Neither in tongue. You know, there are some people that are tongue, eh? it's very sweet. Oh? They can, if you are pregnant, they can, they can talk you, that baby out of your mouth. <laughs> you see, I love you, I love you. Neither in tongue. You see, the Bible is correct. The Bible, I love the Bible. But in what? Indeed and in truth. In what? The word indeed talks about doings. The word doings talks about actions. Talks about what? Action. Reaction. Reaction. That is act. Act. Quickly as we close. What are the benefits of action? One. Action guarantees progress. Every active man is a progressive man. Every what? Is what? A progressive man. You can't make progress until you begin to act. Every active man is a progressive man. Show me a man that is making progress and I will show you a man that is taking steps. Show me a man that is making progress and I will show you a man that is working. I 
show you a man that is working. That is action guarantees progress. Two, action guarantees life. Every working man is a living man. The cheapest way to die is to retire. They ask a man after they retire them at age 60, they now ask him, What is his plan? He said, The government have retired me, but I want to refire. The fastest way to make your brain to work, engage your brain. Engage what? Your brain. A wise man said, I will make the brain to walk until it begins to sweat. That's when I know it, it's working. We have people that their brains are too dull because they are not engaging it. Everyone that is living in the world are workers. They are active men. They are action men. Today we have young boys, young girls that don't want to work. They want free money. They don't want to work. They don't want to see. You put them to learn work, they won't stay. They want free money. Quick, quick. Quick, quick money. Today, today that's why you can't even see good mechanic in town anymore. The boys that ought to be good mechanic, they have turned their own boys. now. They have told you, oh boys, no mechanic anywhere again. If this generation of mechanic passes, we will have mechanic again. <laughs> May God deliver our generation. May God deliver our generation. That is, action guarantees progress. Three, action guarantees life. Action guarantees health. You see, one of the way they are one of the things they advise people that are always falling sick is to tell them to engage their body. Don't forget, we have different kinds of health. We have our mental health, financial health, physical health. Like what I'm doing, I'm doing exercise. Praise God. I say, praise God. You will recover. I thought you say, amen. Everything you've lost, I speak over your life. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, you are recovering them. I thought you say, better, amen. amen. I thought your amen will be strong and louder than I. Rise up and your feet. Go ahead and go. Go ahead and go. Move your hands and give it.